Hey everybody, it's Louie from Jaff, home of the Motorcycle Gear Experts. Today we're taking a closer look at a few of our favorite full face helmet models available here at Jaffram.com. Fixed full face helmets offer the highest level of protection of any of the styles of motorcycle safety helmets. They also have the most manipulatable climate and the best aerodynamics. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at seven of our favorite models from the ultra premium to the value priced. To see any of the helmets you're about to see in greater detail, check out the closer look video for the individual item. The first helmet in our 2014 buying guide is Arise's newest full face offering, the Defiant. And this is one of the most premium street focused full face helmets you can buy. The Defiant is DOT and ECE approved with a new PB CLC shell. Arise added the, the PB or peripheral belt from their flagship models like the Corsair 5 to their CLC or complex laminar composite found in helmets like the Sigma Q. This material is incredibly lightweight and impossibly strong. The shape of the helmet is intermediate oval and the size chart's accurate, so be sure to use it to ensure an optimal fit. You can also customize the fit of the Defiant with interchangeable cheek pads and removable foam bits in the cheek pad and headliner areas. In an effort to create the safest helmet on the market, Arise shell design is kept as round as possible with minimal extrusions to catch on obstacles in a crash. As a result of these clean lines, Arise helmets have often been accused of being somewhat bland in their appearance. Arise definitely answered the street rider's request for a bolder looking helmet with this Defiant. That obviously still has a smooth egg shape. Arise will never sacrifice the helmet's ability to protect the wearer for the sake of a look, but this helmet definitely has more of an aggressive feel to it than anything else in their lineup. Now, I think it's just downright handsome. And one of the new features unique to the Defiant is the new IR chin spoiler. And this is a welcome addition, especially for riders of bikes with upright riding positions and minimal windscreens. Other notable features include an incredibly efficient new vent scheme, a new rear vent spoiler combo, and a new pinlock ready face shield. Here's a closer look at the new Arai Defiant motorcycle helmet. The next helmet we have for you today is considered by many to be the Arai Defiant's biggest competitor. This is the ultra premium Shoei RF1200. If you're in the process of trying to choose between these two premium street lids, I do not envy you. Talk about a tough choice. Now, the RF1200 is constructed using a DOT and Snell rated 6 ply aim plus shell. Like the Arai, this RF is coming in at 3.5 pounds, so it's very light. It fits intermediate oval and laser accurate to the size chart as a result of the use of five different shell sizes. This helmet will also accept all of the different sizes of cheek pads, so the fit's very customizable. It's available in a myriad of colors and some really sharp graphics, including race replicas. This is the wine red color that I have here, and you can see the quality of the finish and the deepness of the color. Now, one of the RF1200's best features is definitely the shield system. This pinlock ready CWR1 shield is injection molded polycarbonate and truly optically correct. Shoei has added these ridges to the shield to stiffen it up, improving the seal and reducing chatter at speed. And the base plates are also improved for this purpose. These new QRE base plates have stiffer springs and their job is to pull the shield tightly against the new iPort seal. This shield is also available in some great looking finishes, including transitions photochromic and multiple different colors of chrome. Other notable features include incredible ventilation, dual layer multi-density EPS, and the 3D Max Dry System 2 interior. Here's a closer look at the awesome Shoei RF1200. The next helmet I have for you today, the awesome looking new Bell Bullet. And this is one of the coolest helmets to hit the street this year. It's reminiscent of the original Bell Star helmet from the late 60s, but with the safety and technology that you expect from a modern motorcycle helmet from Bell. This isn't just a novel throwback either, this is a truly premium full face helmet. The low profile shell is made of a lightweight fiber composite and comes in three different shell sizes with three different EPSs. The shape is intermediate oval to round. Not going to be exactly a perfect match for my long oval head, but the fits accurate per the size chart. I have a 23 and a half inch head, fits pretty good in the large, I just prefer a snugger fit on the sides of the crown of my head and on my cheeks when I'm riding on the highway. This helmet's available in five colorways, but there are a multitude of shields available in both flat and bubble styles, so you're definitely going to be able to dial in your look. 
And my favorite feature on this new bullet helmet from Bell is the field of view. It's gigantic. Now the slim chin bar offers a full view of your bike's gauges and controls, even when in an upright riding position. Another standout feature on this bullet is the ventilation. See, it has some. Most of the helmets available in this vintage style are ventless. The bullet has an adjustable vent in the chin bar and four intakes on the forehead. And there's even a little Venturi spoiler on the rear of the helmet to extract the hot air. Other notable features include a highly absorbent micro suede liner with full grain leather details and speaker pockets in the cheek pads. Here's a closer look at the style and new Bell Bull. This, my fine friends, is the Icon Air Mata. This is Icon's newest model and an incredibly popular helmet. It has an injection molded polycarbonate shell. It's DOT, ECE, SAI, and SG rated. It has an intermediate to long oval shape that fits a ton of North American heads. It's available in some of the sickest colors and graphics you can get, or you can keep it clean, like with this white. And this is a great helmet choice for the rider who pays extra attention to the finer details. Now, I chose to show you this white helmet for a reason. Most helmet brands use the same color switches, neck trim, and vent parts across all the colorways of the helmet. Not Icon. Every feature from the breath guard to the vent switches down to the eye port gasket are all color matching. They're all white. Now this is the kind of attention to detail that really makes the helmet stand out visually. It's not just a showpiece though. There's also quite a bit of functionality in this helmet. The face shield's lockable with the Pro Lock system and fog and distortion free. And the liner features Icon's hydro dry material and is removable and washable. The ventilation is quite good on this helmet as well, and the switches are all easy to operate with gloves on. Here's a closer look, the Icon Air Mata. The next helmet is one of the best bangs for the buck in this helmet game. It's the world famous HJC IS-17 helmet. This helmet gets a lightweight polycarbonate shell and a DOT approval. Now, HJC did all kinds of things right with the IS-17. It has an intermediate oval shape that fits a ton of heads and the size chart is accurate. It comes in some nicely finished solid colors and two really sharp graphics. The feature on this helmet that riders can't get enough of is the one touch integrated sunshield. Now you find this sunshade feature a lot nowadays on modular helmets but this is one of the few models of fixed full face helmets of any quality to get the feature. Now many full face helmet customers are looking for lightweight over bells and whistles and features like sunshades get left off. Now the IS-17 is still less than three and a half pounds with the shade installed and this is one of the more sophisticated shade systems you'll find. The mechanism that controls the shade has three settings to position the shade at just the right spot on your face. The release is throttled as well so the mechanism doesn't slam back on itself when you release it. This makes the sound in the helmet less obnoxious and the mechanism lasts longer. Another standout feature on this IS-17 is the face shield. This helmet gets the HJ20M Pinlock Prepared Shield. The shield is rigid, it's optically correct, and 95% UV protected. Add a pinlock insert to your order and shield fog is a non-issue. Other notable features include the easy to use Rapid Fire 2 Shield Replacement System and the super cool moisture wicking interior with glasses grooves to make wearing prescription eyeglasses while riding comfortable. Here's a closer look at the HJC IS-17 Motorcycle Riding Helmet. The next full face helmet in our 2014 buying guide is the new Joe Rocket R1000X. This is an excellent new street focused helmet from Joe Rocket. That's another one of the amazing values in this guide. It has a polycarb shell, but gets both the DOT and Snell's approval. The colorways available for this R1000X are as bold as they come. This helmet's available in two graphics that are comprised of some of the loudest colors I've ever heard. Now this graphic, the lithium, is available in five seriously intense colors, including this blue and silver. There's another graphic available called the Blaster that has three colorways of its own. The R1000X has a couple of systems in place that really make it stand out in this lower price point. I'm really impressed by the shield and base plate systems. The UV resistant face shield has a 3D shape. It's curved on both the vertical and horizontal axis. This improves aerodynamics 
and minimizes image distortion. The inside of the shield is coated with a fog resistant coating. The exterior treated with a hardened anti-scratch coating. The R1000X also comes with a complimentary dark smoke shield to complete the look and give your eyeballs a little relief from the sunshine. This next feature is the one that I think riders will notice the most during everyday use. The tab arrangement promotes smooth and easy operation in most of the raised shield positions. The bottom two positions have a very stiff action. The closed position is very snug and so is the first open position. Now this is a really handy feature at street speeds because it allows you to ride with the shield partially open on hot days. It also keeps the shield from rising unexpectedly when you turn your head to check your blind spot. Other notable features include excellent ventilation, a quick dry liner system, and a dual density EPS liner. Here's a closer look at the new Joe Rocket R1000X full face out. The final helmet in our 2014 full face helmet buying guide is the Speed and Strength SS1300. Now, this is the lowest priced helmet in our buying guide today, but you're getting far more than the price suggests in my opinion. The shape of this helmet is very narrow, making it great for the long oval head shapes. They do run a little bit small though. The size chart recommends a large for my head. I would need an XL at the minimum. Now, this helmet's available in a ton of color options, with three solids and three graphics with multiple colors per graphic. The SS1300 has an advanced thermal poly alloy shell and a DOT and ECE approval. It has a quickish release shield that can be locked into the down position by sliding a lever with smoked tinted shields available to complete the look. It has a cool core, removable moisture wicking liner and a speed strap quick release chin strap. Very nice features for a helmet in this low price. Let's get a closer look at the SS1300 from Speed and Strength. And there you have them, seven of the best helmets you'll find this year, all of them available at Jaffram.com. To see more of our gigantic helmet selection, subscribe to Jaffram on YouTube. Click the link below to go to Jaffram.com. Ask questions by leaving comments on any of our videos or click the live chat icon on our homepage. You can also give us a call at one go helmet Like us on Facebook for daily deals and rider news and remember, when it comes to our customers, we'll ride the extra mile. I'm Louie, you'll see me next time.